it's an image that is important to me. I think it's a time sensitive image, especially with in the sense of, you know, older generation watching the newer generation, but the older generation is just as relevant as far as setting the pace as, as far as performance surfing and just as, as far as being good humans. Ultimately what you want to do is when you're traveling, you want to travel with people that inspire you and as a fan of surfing you want to or see what it's like to be in the water with them. And I hope these images share what it's like to be in the water with some of the greatest surfers and, and some of the most exotic locations. This image of John John Florence and Kelly Slater that we shot during the proximity project. Uh, it features at the time John John, who, had, who hadn't won a world title, and Kelly Slater, who'd won 11 world titles. It was shot with a, a Canon digital camera uh, in a custom-built underwater housing with a wide-angle lens, a 14mm lens. And what's unique about this image is it kind of gives a surfer's perspective of what it's like to watch you know, one of your favorite surfers passing by. But what's unique about this is that you, know, you can kind of take it as like the old guard, new guard, whereas John John now is a two-time world champion. Kelly Slater is still an 11-time world champion. He's watched John grow up from being a baby, you know, four or five years old, all the way to where he is now. And so it's kind of cool to have Kelly watching John as he's passing by in the tube. And the previous wave, Kelly had had a great tube and was paddling back out. And as he saw John going by, he's like, I'm gonna duck dive in front of you, get a shot of me watching John. And it was all happening really quick, but right when John was in the barrel, Kelly ducked over and looked past and, and I shot a sequence of it and Kelly came up and he's like, I see what you're seeing, that's so cool. And he's like, I think that was a shot. And I was like, yeah, I, I think so too. But I was kind of nervous because I wasn't sure if like John was gonna pass through Kelly at the wrong time. And when we got the images back, we, we knew we had something special. And uh, this image kind of became the hallmark image for the proximity project that Taylor Steele and I worked together on. And it also was the cover of my book, my first coffee table book. When it came time to editing the book for proximity and also editing the story for proximity, this image was a, it jumped out, having the two subjects in the same frame, doing what they do best. Another tidbit of this pro, of this image in particular is the, the artwork on Kelly's board. You can't really tell, but it was all done by a, an artist named Richard Phillips who had a, an emotional connection with the place that we went to and is a big fan of surfing. So the fact that he, um, donated his time to do artwork on a, on a quiver at Kelly's boards was really special. And two, with John, like, these guys are so busy. For them to give us the amount of time that they did for us to, to make this film, make this project is something that we're really special. And, you know, in this day and age, there's so many photographers and there's so many cameras everywhere. To get images like this exclusive, similar to the, to the wave pool image, um, are, is something that's rare, rare to come by. And as a photographer, it's always exciting to open up a magazine or share an image or open up a book and have an image that uh, that no one's ever seen before. And that's kind of what's always inspired me to want to make more photography and more photos.